Hi, guys. Good morning. It is Relax and Paint. And I wanted to do a fun, relaxing flower that's the same petal over and over and over. I'm hoping that you have a wonderful week, that you are inspired by what I'm sharing with you, that you might pick up a paintbrush and paint with me this week and just forget about your woes. Think about what you're doing, creating. You know what? When you create something that you look at and you can't believe you did it, this painting behind me, I did years ago. It's the first big painting I ever did. I don't know if you can see, but look, I saw it in my head. I dreamed about doing it. I couldn't wait to do it. And look at this. I, I can't believe I won't even, I won't sell it. I won't take it. I've had that. I, we downsized. I had to find a wall in my house to hang it that I could keep it that um, I could just look at it and like those hydrangeas over there. I haven't been able to do them like that again, but I love the way they turned out. So I want you to think about from your very first strokes to painting the greeting card, the more you paint, like painting a greeting card and sharing your talents with other people and just giving that card away, the more you paint and give away, you don't see your failures. And as you improve before you know it, I painted thousands and thousands of tinware pieces. And the first ones I look at, I think, oh my gosh, those were so bad. But um, look at me today. So it, it, it is a dream that you can make happen, but you have to put a little bit of energy into it. And when you say, well, mine doesn't look like yours. You know what? It would make me feel really bad if everybody got a paint immediately as good as I do. <laughs> or do my technique as good as I do. I mean, I don't think I'm the best artist out there, but I love helping newbies learn how to paint. Or if you're out there and you just need some stress release, painting's better than drugs. <laughs> All right. They don't have side effects, except you might get addicted and really enjoy it. Okay. So I am ready to get started with you. If you haven't tried yet, check out my one stroke advantage and it's on my channel here and it's $10 a month. So for like $2 and 50 cents, you get to watch a full length lesson where we're actually painting and talking together. And that's like usually on Fridays, you can go back and watch them anytime. So it's new membership that I set up. And instead of going to other platforms, I just stayed here on YouTube. That's where I have met most of you. And that's where I'm exciting to share with you. So I'm still doing my two lessons, um, two how to's on YouTube every week. So check them out. And I think it's so cute when people say, I binged on your practice strokes. <laughs> that's a good binging. <laughs> you can grow from it. So let's do a chrysanthemum. I couldn't even pronounce it years ago when I tried to paint it. And um, so today I can say it and paint it. All right. So hope you can too by the end of your practicing. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you can make it happen. All right. So I am going to go to my overhead camera and we are going to start our, oops, start our lesson. Okay. So here we are. Let's go right over it. All right. Now I've got, you can do this with a round or a flat brush or a filbert. I found out that I really like my flat brushes, but today I'm going to work a little bit on a round only because it gives you an opportunity to use this tip. This is my eight round. All right. And we are going to use multi-surface paint. We really don't need, I don't think, the floating medium because we're on a scrapbooking paper. That's a really, i got multiple sheets here. I should have just put one sheet out here. All right, scrapbooking paper. And I am going to start out by loading this round brush. I wet it, laid it on the paper towel. And then I'm going to come right here and pick up I might change after I get started <laughs> if I'm not super thrilled with this uh, brush. So I'm doing magenta here for pinks. I can also come into neon pink. There's neon purple. There's neon blue. 
All right, so we'll just kind of see what this is going to look like as we go here. I'm going to turn this out. Oh my goodness. Got a big dark shadow. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and come around. Okay, we're not seeing that, so I'm going to pick up more white. All right, so I just have some of that other color in the brush, so you're going to get different shades of it. Okay, so see how good that turned out. You can see it better. All right, so I'm going to come right here and curve around. So watch this pressure and lift, pressure and lift. Okay, now I want you to see it's a whole ball here. And this is what we're trying to do. We're going to come right in here and make little teeny strokes. But I have all that color inside the brush. So it's okay. I'm just going to pick up here and there, but then go get really good white. All right. So we're going to push and lift, pressure and lift, pressure and lift. And so you want to see each stroke, right? And there's going to be streaks in it. All right. So I'm going to go back to the magenta. I think the light color is too light on my lavender here. So let's come in here and we're going to get a stronger pink because I want you to see the strokes better. All right. So I'm getting pink and white again. All right. Now, what, you remember what I said? Pressure and lift, pressure and lift. All right. Okay, now I can do a little bit back here, but then what's going to happen is I'm going to pick up again, let's get magenta on both sides and stroke through thick white. All right, so I'm going to come right here and do a bigger stroke here. All right, I'm going to come out like that. I have a couple over here. I'm going to keep coming around, picking up fresh paint. Right. Now. The deal is you have to continue to pick up paint so that you see the different layers, right? Push, stand up, push, stand up. See where, when I think you don't see, look at that, pressure, lift. Pressure, lift, pressure, lift. And so it's the same stroke, but you have to alternate the colors you're picking up, all right? Like this one, you don't see that or that one. I can still come back here and add a little bit more, all right? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna move this way. Keep picking up magenta and white. Okay, so pressure lift, pressure, lift. All right, now I'm getting squatty. I need to pull it down a little bit better. Magenta and white. Yeah, I think it's real important that we get white in on each of these strokes, even if I pick up more pink, magenta. 
And right here in these strong white. All right, and I don't want it muddy. So, so I am going to show you with the 12, see if we like it a little better. This is just like a practice for us. We're making it really big, but moms can get really big, right? We used to have moms in high school, right? I think that's more my mom's age in the 50s. But um, so the deal is all those pretty little petals, right? So then if I come in here and I start laying them out, Okay, so these start falling out away from this area right in here. After you see your roundness of this coming to be what you want. All right, so one thing I can do is I can put some magenta all down in here. All right, and then I can keep picking up white and stroking into it because when you stroke into it then you're picking up a little bit of pink each time you stroke into it isn't that pretty so pressure lift pressure lift Okay, so that was pretty easy. I also like, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in here. I like some darker in here so you see it. This is kind of tricky to fix that. So I can get a smaller brush, but I can also just come in here with my tip of the brush. This is a number eight round. It's inside my pro brush set. Okay, I can just put that in the middle so you see. The dark pink here and the pink up there. But when this dries, you can float some in there too, if you've ever seen me float. And all the terminology and all that I'm sharing with you, all of this is on our practice strokes Friday class, uh, little lessons I teach, little tutorials. Okay. So if you don't know what a terminology is that I'm sharing with you, just make sure you go there and you'll see. Okay. So let's say I'm going to put this right in here. And we'll make a small bud. But I, this time, I'm going to use a 12 flat. I'm going to come right in here with my 12 flat. And you can choose round or flat. I just i am used to using my flats. So look, I have this going in to already pink. So all I'm picking up is white. So push, lift, push, lift, pressure, lift. Is this a great way to start your morning? I hope so. Push, lift, push, lift, push, lift. Okay, now all I picked up was white. All right, now you can, look, I can come and push in here and stand mm -hmm. up and still get a rounded look. Okay. See, I can still get that look. I can come around here. This needs a little something. A little bit here. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone. Isn't that kind of fun? So now I'm gonna, I've got a plate, a double loader that I had some greens in. I'm gonna go use that. And I'm going to use my 16 flat and I'm going to pick up citrus and sab. Okay, I pick up paint on both sides and then I work it in. So if I move this back over here, then I can double load really good. All right, dip into some medium in the middle. Okay, now I'm going to grab this little guy. 
And this, I'm going to come from the center. The stem would be right here. If I come straight down from the center. Okay, so this probably needed to go that way. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now I come right here. Isn't that kind of fun? Now, this is not the leaf that goes with this. So now let me show you the leaf. That's just some greenery we can put in here. All right, so I can come in here and do another one of these, but then I want you to see that I'm gonna put the light green on the outside with a little bit of white. Oops, sorry. Look, I dip white and work this in. I hope you like this morning with me. It's a big chrysanthemum, but I just was getting, I'm, it's more of a lesson to teach you how to do this. Now look at this, flat, 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 flat. And that's a little bit different than I usually teach, but we're doing a stroke, <coughs> excuse me, a stroke chrysanthemum. So let's do a big stroke leaf. Let's do one right here. Here's the center, here's where we start. You're gonna push down and stand up, push, 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 and go to a point, okay? So let's use some lighter colors, okay? Let's use a light color on the outside. One, I want some white and happy green, there we go. See, I'm doing little strokes. Let's try this again over here because it's so dark. One, two, oops, I need more. Okay, let's start over. One, that's the beauty of one stroke painting. You just pick up more paint and stroke right over it. There you go. And then you pull a stem in. Oops, my stem got too big. But the beauty of that is I can just go in there. All right. Now, isn't that kind of fun? I hope you enjoyed it. A couple of different strokes that I might have taught you that you didn't know before. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.